Hey guys, Leanne here on Grady's Mom. It is Saturday, and I actually just got home from Aldi. I had to pick up a couple specific things there, and I just so happened to be around that area today. It's about 35 minutes from my home. So I decided just to do most of my regular grocery shopping there this week. I needed a lot of produce things. I have a lot of meat in my freezer. So this upcoming week will be a week where I use up a lot of the meats in my freezer. I spent $75 at Aldi. The only couple things that are not pictured are just two cases of bottled water. I got like a junior, they call it like a junior size um, case, which was like 10 ounce bottles, and then a regular case of water, which are like the regular size. So those are the only two things that are not pictured because those are already in the garage fridge. So one of the things I went for was these um, original pork sausage patties. They're the flat like hamburger patty breakfast sausages. The last bag of these lasted me like nine months. Um, I don't know how many are in here, but I'm going to guess like 30. There's a lot of them in here. And they're really good since we have breakfast for dinner at least once a week. And they're also good for breakfast, um, just regular breakfast. So I got these. Got some hamburger buns because we're going to grill this weekend. I got some of the mozzarella string cheese for my husband's lunches, as well as the Colby Jack cheese sticks. And everything was so much cheaper than like at Publix or even most things were cheaper than at Walmart. Um, I got some Kiwis. They were like $1.50 for all of these. And there's like six or eight in here. So I got those. I got some just regular pepperoni for pizzas or calzones. I got some of these sausage snack sticks to throw in my husband's lunches with cheese. I got two of these Red Lobster Cheddar Bay Biscuit Mixes. These are really good and they were under $2.00. So there is the other one. I got some chicken broth. This is the Simply Nature Organic Free Range. It was like $1.69, which was an incredible price. So I got two chicken and then one beef broth for cooking and recipes. I got a big thing of canola oil, which I use a lot, a thing of Pringles. I got a box of the onion dry soup mix, which I use in different recipes, some strawberries, which are dirt cheap right now. I got a frozen organic blueberry bag which I use for my smoothies. I really like banana and blueberry smoothies. I got a big thing of the baby arugula. This is the organic in the pretty big size container. I love arugula for salads. It has a really nice peppery flavor. I also got some romaine hearts. We've been eating a lot of salads lately and these were an incredible price. For all three of these hearts I think it was like $1.69. I got a big thing of sharp cheddar cheese much bigger bag than I normally get. I think I normally get like the seven ounce bag by Sargento, but this is 12 ounces and a much better price. I got some tricolor peppers for recipes and cooking, a big huge bag of asparagus, which I will use in recipes. And we also throw these on our grill pan outside. So that'll be great. I got a couple strawberries or tomatoes. I got a English cucumber, a dozen eggs, some sweet potatoes, which we'll throw on the grill or I will roast them up. I got a thing of oregano. It's one of the herbs I had run out of a while ago and forgot to replace, so I got one of these. I got a can of lima beans to throw into a soup. I got some water chestnuts for when I do like an Asian dish. It's, I like to have one of these on hand in my pantry. I got a sweet and sour sauce, which we use for dipping and Asian recipes. I got a bag of red onions. They were a really good price and I go through onions like crazy. So I got a bag of those and then I got a six pack of paper towels. It's like the off Aldi brand, but it says compare to sparkle. I did grab these because of the price. They were like $4.50 and usually I pay like eight or nine dollars for a six pack of like the Bounty brand. So I don't know what to expect from these. Hopefully they're good. Um, and that is everything I got, again, besides the bottled water that's in the garage fridge. I spent $75, including tax, and I will show you guys my meal plan for the week. Okay, guys, meal plan for the upcoming week, which is starting tomorrow, Sunday the 13th, running through Saturday the 19th. So tomorrow I'm going to make a strawberry chicken salad, which is essentially just a huge dinner salad with grilled chicken, strawberries, all different veggies on it. I'll definitely be posting a picture on my Instagram. It's super easy to make. Tons of veggies and the strawberries just give it a really nice touch. So that is an easy dinner for tomorrow. 
Monday I'm going to do corned beef brisket. I actually picked up a corned beef brisket, I think at Walmart a couple weeks ago, and it's frozen. So I'm going to make that with a brown sugar glaze. I'm going to do some mashed sweet potatoes, so just like mashed potatoes but using sweet potatoes. And I top it with brown sugar and marshmallows. And then I'm going to make some steamed asparagus with just some butter and garlic. Tuesday, and by the way, I'm going in order this week, I think. Um, so that's why it says, um, I'm just figured I'd note that I'm going to go in order this week. Um, so Monday would be this, Sunday would be this. Usually I don't go in order, but I'm going to try and do that this week. Tuesday I'm going to do French toast for dinner with some of the sausage patties. And then I'll just do a simple little fruit salad, which is just sliced kiwi and strawberry and a little bit of lime juice and mint. Um, it's just a simple two fruit salad. Wednesday, I'm going to do some country spare ribs, which I have frozen from last month that I purchased that I just portioned out. So I'm going to use the other half of those spare ribs that are in the freezer. We're going to do them on the grill and we're also going to grill some sweet potatoes on the grill as well. And I'll just do a simple toss salad with that meal. Thursday, I'm going to do ham fried rice, which is a whole dinner. I do have a cooking video from a long time ago for a couple different fried rices. So those will both be in my cooking playlist with some kind of just a little toss salad. I've mentioned we're eating a lot of salads lately. Friday, we're going to go out to dinner with friends so I don't have to cook, which is really nice. And then Saturday, I'm going to make my homemade mac and cheese, which I do also have a cooking video for in my cooking playlist. And then with that, I will do the red lobster cheddar garlic biscuits. So that is my meal plan for the week. I hope you guys enjoyed the haul and the meal plan. Have a great day, and I will see you very soon. Bye, guys.